A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, but more about them at the end. Today I'm going to be showing you a zero waste or as close to as possible grocery haul and I want to be showing you also what I'm like how I'm going to be meal prepping it and preparing the stuff that I do buy for for the week. Now when I do go grocery shopping I try to be as zero waste as possible and this does mean many things. It means trying to buy local, it means trying to buy unpackaged, it means trying to make the best choice that I possibly can reasonably with what I have available to me. And this week luckily I had quite a lot available to me so I wanted to share it with you guys and talk you through what I bought, why I bought it and what I plan to do with it as well. As you can see I've got these pickles and I just absolutely love them and I'm going to be making some homemade ones. First of all I lay everything out so I can show you guys but also it does actually help me to think about it. Obviously I do not do this every single time I go grocery shopping but it is, I don't know, when I do do it to take a photo for Instagram or for YouTube it does help me to look at everything and really think about it. But of course before I went to the shop I wrote a list of some things that I wanted to buy. Now this meal prep this week or this kind of grocery shop was more intended to kind of make things that were going to last a while. So you can see I've got lots of tomatoes and you can see I've got two big bags of something. I've also got these cucumbers and you know other things that I have specifically bought for, for this week as well as that dill and yeah. So the first thing I bought was corn and I recently realized that you can actually bake it in the oven and it comes out amazing. So that's why I got a lot. I also got some sweet potatoes because they were in season and they were on sale and I can eat them every day. I got some broccoli for my greens because they are again in season and it's one of the cheaper options for me to buy unpackaged. I got two onions just because I love to have onions. I got some black beans, I got lots of dried and I got one can. I really just got the can because I wanted to make black bean burgers today, but really I shouldn't have, but at least they can be recycled. I also got this dill to make pickles and I absolutely love it in any kind of fresh salad as well. Now I don't usually buy bananas, but apparently single bananas get thrown out because they hardly ever get chosen at supermarkets. So I decided to just buy, you know, one for every single day this week to have in my porridge. Which leads me on to oats. I'm very lucky that I was able to buy oats um, unpackaged, so I like to have it for breakfast every morning and that's why I got them. The same kind of goes for rice. I was able to buy rice unpackaged and I love rice. It's a really good staple, it really helps me when I'm training and things like that. And it also is a much more uh, affordable kind of food source for me. Now we have our pickles. I recently made an attempt at making pickles myself, just quick refrigerator ones. And they were actually really, really easy. So I wanted again to make some more to have for the rest of this kind of month together. I just have three bulbs of garlic as well and these local tomatoes. So you can see that they have stickers on them, which is a little bit annoying, but I decided to get these ones with stickers because they were local and in season, rather than something that didn't have stickers, but were quite far away and took a lot more energy out of the season to grow them. So with the pickles, I'm just following this recipe that I found on YouTube. I'm gonna put the link down below because I am not a pickle master. I am just very much a pickle enthusiast. So I'm just using three jars that my boyfriend has lying around and I'm going to chop up all of these pickles to fit them. So with the bigger ones I'm just going to be chopping them into spears so I'm going to be chopping them in half and then I'm going to be chopping them in half again and if they are particularly big I think I end up chopping them into three on each half so that they are you know not too big for putting them in the jar and making sure that they fit. As you can see as well with these really little ones, I just chopped them in half. And apparently according to some of the videos I've watched on pickles, uh, you need to cut them if you are doing refrigerator quick pickles because it get, the liquid gets into the, the pickles much easier. 
As you can see here, I'm also just chopping up or separating some garlic to chop up to put in my mixture to make them all delicious. Once I have, you know, taken the shell off or the skin off the garlic and kind of crushed them, then I'm just separating this massive bunch of dill because I'm not going to use all of it. I'm using about half of the pickles and I'm going to be using about half for just salads and general stuff like that. I do chop off the bottom, but that's not necessarily because I'm going to throw them away. I'm going to keep that because it's really good for flavoring other things. And now basically you just stuff your jars with your pickles and your other kind of mixture. You can add other things like caraway seeds or chili flakes or anything like that. I'm just keeping them super simple just for now because I want to just get a little bit better at making them before I go bold with anything else. So yeah, I'm just stuffing them in and making sure that there's hardly any extra space so that they don't kind of float around when they're in there. Now they're all done, now I just basically put the jars to the side and I will be making the mixture, which is about one and a half cups of water, the same of white distilled vinegar, and then I am using pink Himalayan sea salt, two tablespoons, only because my boyfriend is so fancy that this is the only salt that he had. So I think you can use any salt, but again, please refer to the thing down below. Once that has boiled and all kind of melted, I guess, or the salt has dissolved, then you're just gonna be filling up your jars with the hot liquid. Um, I was a bit confused that it was hot, but this is what they all say. So I'm just filling them up and leaving them on the side to cool down until they are room temperature. And you're done. Once they're at room temperature, you put them in the fridge and it takes about three days for them to be ready to eat. Next, I'm gonna be sorting out my black beans. I like to soak them overnight. So I'm just putting them in a big pot of of well just any kind of big pot and then I'm going to be filling that pot up with um, with water because I'm going to soak them for at least eight hours so they're nice and ready to be prepared for tomorrow to bake them not bake them what am I talking about to boil them so that they become nice and soft but for now I'm going to just put them to the side so with things like my rice I usually have some kind of jar to put them in but I've used a lot of my spare jars for the pickles so I'm just going to be keeping them in their bag and putting them in in the cupboard. The same goes for the oats. I'm just going to be putting these oats in the cupboard again because I don't have a spare jar but usually I would decant them into some kind of jar so I can reuse these bags if need be to go and buy other kind of vegetables during the week if I run out or if I need some other kind of staple. Okay for the corn you don't really need to do much prep and I really uh, recommend keeping this the, the green thing on because it actually prolongs their life and makes them last a lot longer. But now that I know that you can bake them in the oven and it kind of gets steamed within its own shell, I like to chop off any bits that could possibly be or catch fire whilst they're in, in the oven. So I just chop off all the other little bits and then I just simply put them, put them in the fridge for whenever they're ready to go in the oven and become a delicious accoutrement. So the sweet potatoes. I firstly I just take off if there are any stickers annoyingly and I keep them and then I poke holes in them just to let the air through and then I just take off any sort of ends that aren't, aren't particularly great and then I will bake them so that they're ready in the fridge for, for the week. Once they have kind of cooked in the oven and they're nice and delicious I will leave them on the side to cool down and then put into a Tupperware where I can put them in the fridge and just have them really readily available. Having things like this available to me means that I'm much more likely to eat much healthier because I have all the stuff there to make something really simple and quickly. With the broccoli I just put it in the fridge. I don't bother to do any kind of prep with it because I don't really feel like I need to. The same with the tomatoes. I usually just put them in the fridge or what sometimes I will do is boil them and peel them and then blend them so that I have kind of this really delicious kind of I guess pureed canned tomato type thing and put some in the freezer and put some in the fridge ready to use. With the black beans I will just recover them with water and then I will boil them until until they become nice and soft and 
well, edible. <laughs> Once they've cooked, I will strain them and leave them on the side to, to cool down. Sometimes I cook it with some salt and some bay leaves as well. Once they've cooled down properly, I will then put them in lots of different kind of containers so that I can, I guess, meal prep. Sometimes I won't be able to get through this many black beans in, in a week, but um, I like to I like to just make sure that I freeze some of them and the rest I can use really, really easily. And that's about it. I just want to quickly thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video and always supporting the content that I am creating on here. Squarespace allows you to link your various social media accounts, which is great. So on the Low Impact Movement website, I can make sure that all my Instagrams and my YouTubes are kind of set up like that. And also the site management has never been easier as Squarespace allows you to edit your posts and comments on the go using their mobile app. So head to squarespace.com forward slash sustainably vegan to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. I just want to say a massive thank you for tuning in to watch this video. I really hope that you thought it was helpful and you found it interesting. If you would like to see more videos like this, please leave a comment down below. I love reading your comments and I always love to hear from you guys exactly what it is that um, you like seeing. So please, uh, yeah, go and support my channel by, by commenting and letting me know. Also, if you are interested in extra content, I am still creating Patreon videos and Patreon content, so I will leave the link below if you are interested. A massive thank you to everyone who has supported me on there for the past year. It has really made a massive difference and really supported the work that I'm doing, especially when I'm doing less sponsored videos. So thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you guys very soon.